iron wind. Spirit of Grunyi, take me to my doom. My inventions have taken our foes' lives. Who am I? Only the greatest dwarf engineer that ever lived. Who are you? My inventions have taken our foes' lives. Say hello to Malachi McKyson. Once a prodigiously gifted engineer of the renowned Engineers Guild, Malachi McKyson now serves as a slayer, bearing the shame of a tumultuous and tragic past. As the creator of the ironclad Unsinkable and the airship Indestructible, which both malfunctioned with devastating results, he carries the weight of numerous dwarves' deaths on his shoulders, resulting in his ejection from the Engineer's Guild. In the wake of the tragedies, McKyson took the Slayer Oath. Though his days of tinkering and invention are not yet behind him, he continues his craft building wonders such as the Spirit of Grumni and the infamous Goblin Hewer, in the hopes that one day his shame will be expunged in either triumph or glorious death. So he starts off where the Norska dwarves have been since the... <laughs> How many of you guys saw these and were like, oh gosh, these dwarves way up here in the chaos waste amongst the Norska, you know? And how many of you also know about a mod that was specifically made for these guys? Like with whole, you know, an entire mechanic and everything around them. I wonder how those uh, mod authors feel about uh, Makaisen basically kind of taking over that uh, faction and how they're going to be dealing with their mod uh, in light of this DLC and how much is going to change that. Or how much they're going to have to either change it or maybe they're even going to discontinue it. I have no idea. I'm curious to see what they decide. Um, you'll also notice that uh, he has he is suitable to frozen, wasteland, mountain, and savanna. So, when it comes to the extra stuff, uh, you'll see in a moment when we start the campaign. But let's just say the dwarves have gotten quite a bit of uh, love, especially when it comes to other specific types of units. You'll notice some other new units here in the infantry, such as the Doom Seekers, and. Uh, <laughs> the Brotherhood of Grimnir. So yeah, uh, there's some new, cool, interesting units when it comes to the uh, the dwarves, like the Slayer Pirates. The Slayer Pirates are here. <laughs> uh, and of course, the Thunder Barge is here. There was an entire mod just dedicated to that. They're, they're going to be changing that from what I've heard to something else called like a Zeppelin. But yeah, uh, the Thunder Barge is now officially here. Um, the Goblin Hewer is here. Flame Cannons. Yeah. <laughs> also, you'll know some other things like the Yoked Carnosaur. I believe that's uh, because uh, Thoric was able to be able to get that. But uh, And, of course, the Spirit of Grunni, which we will talk about in a bit when we get into the campaign. But, uh, yeah. There's some new cool stuff. A Demon Slayer Hero, or Lord, actually. Um... That's what one of the things that Malachi McKyson brings to the dwarves. So he has access to Malachi's adventures, enabling powerful war machine and artillery modifications and unique legendary battles, which sounds right up my alley. Starts the campaign with control of Gotrek and Felix. Yes, he starts the campaign with those guys already in his army. Now, they have given Gotrek and Felix a notable rework a very substantial rework compared to how they used to be. And you can still get them now with other characters, but you have to, like, earn them. You have to level, then you have to do a quest battle in order to actually acquire them. Malachi doesn't have to do that. He just has them in his army right from the beginning. So, yeah, you'll get Go Trick and Felix right at the beginning. So it's definitely a nice incentive to start off with Malachi if you just want to have Go Trick and Felix around. And I would like to also show you guys the what the changes that they have gotten as well so he also gets 50 percent minus uh 50 reduction for upkeep for artillery and flying war machine units in all of his armies and recruit rank for all artillery and flying war machine units for all armies 
His Lord Effects, Malkai's army has access to the spirit of Grungni's airship buildings. Yes, it's, it gets its own buildings. It also He also gets the ability Deranged Munitions, which has magical attacks, armor piercing whip, piercing missile damage uh, by 50% and 50% base missile damage. He also gets 20% missile strength for artillery and flying war machine units. Can you tell what they are going for with Malachi when you play as Malachi? <laughs> so, let's get to it. After multiple tragedies born of miscalculation and catastrophic failure, the blood on Malachi Makaisen's hands will not be easy to wipe clean. Ejected from the Engineer's Guild, with uh, the eager inventor plies his trade as a sworn slayer, hoping his work can be of some use until he finds redemption in glorious sacrifice. Yet, as the oncoming tides of chaos threaten to swallow the world whole, his noble demise may lie just beyond the horizon. Ab aboard the spirit of Grugni, an airship of his own design, he traverses the skies, excuse me, honor bound to defend the dwarf holds with his most deadly creations. For now, Makaisen's calling draws him onwards. There await the hordes of chaos and the chance to reclaim the respect of his people and erase his shame once and for all. From the earliest age of the Engineer's Guild, the Dawi have forged machines of war. Wonders hewn of Gromril and gold. Trusted plans handed down through generations. Yet there are those who defy tradition. Cast out from the guild for his outlandish ideas, Malachi Makaisen now seeks to regain his honor, his slayer oath to be fulfilled through iron, grit, and glory. Danger lurks beyond the bounds of Kislev, where chaos lingers in a perilous landscape, ripe with adventure. Yet danger rears its head even closer still, as the savage Norskans descend on Cracker Drac, intent on murder and massacre, and beyond their violent horde. Valkyr and her warriors of chaos maraud onwards, soaking the land in blood. With such ruinous fiends closing in, Malachi Makaisen expects the spirit of Grungni to make quick work of the Northmen. I Gromril and still! It's their doom or mine! Malachi Makaisen is both slayer and engineer who embarks upon deadly adventures using the might of the legendary spirit of Grunni, pushing his engineering innovations to new heights as he seeks his desired doom. Progressing through Malachi's adventure missions upgrades specific war machines and leads to unique legendary battles against formidable enemies, while also potentially granting the benefits of the dwarves' Age of Reckoning. After enduring a turbulent eon of invasion, war, and catastrophe, the ancient race of the Dawi enter their Age of Reckoning. In this era of vengeance, dwarf factions can gain great power by selling scores with those who have crossed them and reap the rewards of the Great Book of Grudges. Completing the legendary battles of Malachi's adventures will earn the Masters of Innovation their campaign victory. So, you can also see that the Dwarves tech tree has also gotten a rework. Uh, it's much nicer and cleaner here. Separated by guilds and clans, which is basically, I consider this to be the economic tree and this to be the military tree. Pay 
their fate. With me, so, McKyson. He is a missile. Mi excuse me, a missile specialist. He he is a ballistics expert. Improves all nearby friendly missile units, armor-piercing missiles, fast for a dwarf, and unbreakable. He has death blow. I already mentioned deranged munitions. He's also a slayer, so he'll never have their weapon strength reduced during a battle. And a siege attacker. There he is. Oh, we'll talk about them in just a moment. He'll get the Persuader, which gives him a more casual replenishment for artillery and war machine units. He gets the Persuader, which heals and replenishes munition. Ammunition, excuse me. And the Eyes of Grunni. More income from post-battle loot, ambush defense chance, reload time reduction, and Eyes of Grunni passive. Increased range, more, even more armor-piercing missile damage, and more base missile damage. So yes, he starts off with Gotrek and Felix in his army. Isn't that wonderful? So yes, they have an actual skill tree now. Both of them Malachi do. So it used to be, at least in the, you know... I don't know if mods changed oh, or not. I doubt they the it did. But it used to be you would just simply have the skill dump thing where you would just simply increase their health points. And they would stick around for like only 30 turns or such. So they would only be temporarily. That's not the case anymore. They are here to stay. Also, both of them That's are legendary the heroes as opposed to Felix thing. being the hero and Gotrek being Slayer. the lord. All right. Gotrek I starts off with death blow, and he can continue... To you know, you know, get more of those things as well. Watch it! I'll make you into a snowman. I what? So yeah, this is a uh, pretty great to be able to have them I in his like army right from the get go. You know. Dog. So it's definitely a very nice uh, starting army. You also get the airship building panel here. Because if you'll notice, let me show you in his stances here. If he encamps, it's not a regular encamp stance. It's an airship camp. This messed up here. Where he'll have the airship above him. Isn't that awesome? You'll also notice the radius around here. Like a black arc. So it's kind of like a horde uh, uh, faction with its own separate buildings as well, which is pretty cool. Of course, you got to create some dwarven beer. Of course you do. More experience return. That sounds very nice. Grudge Settlers. This is part of the dwarf rework. You'll notice these panels up here. We to Malachi's show. Adventures will unlock that on turn 5. And here's the Age of Reckoning thing up here. So, I'll be honest with you guys, I never really liked the old grudge mechanic back then because it felt like it kept snowballing and stacking unnecessarily. Like, I would keep getting more, more grudges that I couldn't finish fast enough and it would just kind of get a little out of hand and the negative effects would kind of start to stack. So I wasn't really too fond of playing the dwarves back then. But from what I've heard, this... Well, it's still kind of an issue, but I, I'm pretty sure that uh, that those kind of things will get uh, worked on and fixed by Creative Assembly. But you can see, like, the more you get done here with these. Which you'll notice, some of these have these grudges above their heads. Grudges are incurred by non-dwarf factions for any transgressions against any dwarf faction. Any army or settlement that incurs grudges has a portion of them applied to the rest of their faction in addition to a smaller amount that is applied to other factions the dwarves liken to them. Settled grudges are gained when you defeat an army or settlement with incurred grudges displaying on them. Settled grudges accumulate to enable confederation of dwarf legendary lords in the Book of Grudges and contribute towards your current age of reckoning. So... 
say hello to the new version of the Great Book of Grudges. The new version of the Damaskran. Playing as the Dwarves, the Great Book of Grudges panel allows you to browse your most important grudge objectives and the unique rewards of your grudge settling. The book has three tabs containing legendary grudges objectives, legendary lords confederated from settling grudges, and details of special grudge settlers, mercenaries rewarded by the Age of Reckoning. The legendary grudges tab will display objectives important and beneficial to all dwarves. Their completion can be aided by any dwarf faction and lead to powerful bonuses, such as restoring the underway network for faster travel between certain settlements. So yeah, the underway fast travel thing, that's now an actual thing in the game. So, for example, this legendary grudge has destroyed the following factions, which of course you'll notice are the Chaos Dwarves as well as Grimgore's Ardboys, which restores the underway network for these particular places. You gain a Dwarf Ancestor Relic and you gain 2,500 settled grudges. Quite, that's quite a few grudges. There are multiple legendary grudges available. These buttons can be used to browse between them. Legendary Lords tab allows you to confederate renowned Dwarven Lords once you have settled a number more grudges at, uh, than them. The target amount is specified in the tooltips of each Lord's Confederate button. The Grudge Sellers tab displays details of unique units that are added to your list of mercenaries as each Age of Reckoning is completed, except Elgi, and become recruitable via the Army Panel. Left-clicking any card will display their stats and specializations. So, some of the legendary grudges you can see here, and I'll have so like by Be it written that the Council of Kings bore witness to this grudge declared by Thor God Crumson, or declared by all kings. So, like, ensure that the factions will control the following settlements. You gain more subtle grudges and get more of a reduced cooldown for the underway network travel, which we will show in a bit. Uh, take down Throt and Clan Mulder, and you will get an army ability. Uh, call the Miners, which, this is hilarious. It's basically Menace from Below for the Skaven, except it's Dwarves. What's hilarious is that from what I've seen, it still has the Skaven sound effect when you use Menace from Below. <laughs> so it's like, the Dwarves are becoming more Skaven-like. It's really funny. I imagine that Creative Assembly will try to change the sound effect for the dwarves specifically when they use that ability, because otherwise it just makes it sound like the dwarves are pretending to be Skaven. Just, rah, rah, rah. did you like our, our Skaven sound effect? Retake the realms, claim these areas, and you get the underway network for these areas over here. And occupy the following settlements and get the sealed tombs, and you unlock the landmark building uh, upgrade and the silver pinnacle. So, then we've got the confederate uh, tab. So, if I wanted to. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it shows you here under the confederate button, you have to do total settled grudges that you need to confederate the lord, which for Belagar is 15. Okay, so it's going to be the same, and then you can choose which one you want to confederate, have confederate with you. Okay. And grudge settlers, like quarrelers, slayers, grudge throwers, longbeards, hammers, iron drakes, gyrocopters, flame cannons. Increased armor and has shrapnel projectiles. Reach a tier by the end of an Age of Reckoning in order to add this unit to your unit's panel. So... We fill this up more we'll get access to more of these act you know these other units here as well we'll see how much more i like this version compared to the previous version of the great book of grudges so anyways let's go ahead and uh also uh crack -a -drack is now like being used as an actual like playable area also looks like we actually have a province already both of these already also you'll notice that is a underway uh, network location, but it's unrestored. We have to retake the realms in order to access it here, but it is here. And that is a key dwarven settlement, which will add grudges to anyone who occupies the settlement but them. So if anyone dares to take this, it will go in the book. Let's go ahead and get that up. The Silver Hall. 
And it looks like some of the buildings have gotten changed somewhat here. Oh, that's going to get us the Thunder Barge. The organ guns and the flame cans. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I gotta go for the grudge throwers. All right. Let's finally get into a battle, shall we? Let's see Malachi, Gotrick, and Felix in action. Ugh, we get to start off with one of these. Ugh, love it. I love that this DLC has both the Empire and Dwarves getting an art, an artillery focus. Ugh, love it. Artillery is one of my favorite things in this game. Cannons. Oh, ho, 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 wonderful. Malachi Mackaysen! Karagul! Yeah, 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 and... Yeah. Miners with blasting charges. <laughs> Closer! Aye, very nice. Hey, very nice. Gosh, with all the snow, I can't even see the line. Can you guys see the line here? That's supposed to be like, hey, you know. Back to back! Thunderers! Dino Copter! Right, we'll see how this goes. Mackaysen! Put your faith in dwarven ingenuity, resilience, and my uh, inventions! Forward! With haste! Making ground! Oh no, I can't fire with you guys in the way! Nah, he can. Malachi Mackaysen! Oh, bad on There you go! Sigma! I'm in! Slay! And that! <laughs> Don't get him, Felix! Find your targets! Slayer! Why not? Oh boy. All set. Onslaught. Settle. Choking. Per Jaeger. Warrior. No, they're going after the cannons. Cannons. Time to call in the spirit of Grunny. Come on! 
And now I can buff it with Malachi. I'll die willingly! Oh gosh, Malachi's about to die. Run, Malachi, run! Shut it all, lads, remember? Dowry with me! Light on it! Mine host! All the way! No, Malachi died! Well, this was an awful start. By the way, did I uh, mention that I'm terrible at this game? Which is why I usually tend to use mods to make it easier for myself. Because I suck. I'm even playing on easy, and yeah. Well, that was embarrassing. So you know what? Let's just do a rematch and try that again, shall we? This time I'll try to make sure Malachi doesn't die. <laughs> uh. It's like Q came in and went, What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Try it again. Snaps his fingers, rewinds time, and makes me try it again. It's like that one Star Trek game where you're playing the guy and you're trying to uh, save them from the Borg. And he's like, what's wrong with you? Try it again. Snaps fingers. You guys know what, what I'm talking about. Malachi McKyson. Closer. Aye, very nice. Sword drawn. For the High King. Get friendly. You, 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 and you. <laughs> you, 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 and, uh, you. One guard! Hold on. I feel like I messed that up. Warrior of Grimnia! Axes out, lads! All right, hopefully this is fine, although I have a feeling... All right, let's put them over here, because I have a feeling the cannon's going to try to fire and it's going to risk hitting them. That's a huge cooldown for the Spirit of Grugni, and it does de degrade over time. But you can upgrade it where it won't be the case that much anymore. I can definitely drop some bombs. Charge! Go! Nothing can stop us! Anu! Strike out! Move! Makaisen! Hope I don't regret this! All set! All right! Herr Jaeger! Mine host! I suppose so! Your call! <laughs> of course, the blasting charges just blow them up. I command the spirit of Grutney! You can see him reloading his gun. Get in there, Slayers! Doom Seekers! By the way, the Doom Seekers have chained axes. Like Kratos. Isn't that awesome? I'm here! I'm ready! Ja! Shoot! Hi! Alright, time for the Spirit of Grunni! Will 
killed you! Alright, I feel like this went much better than it did last time. <laughs> that definitely worked out better. It's kind of a similar issue I had when I first was trying out Oxyodal. Realizing, oh, I have many more range units than I do have, like, melee infantry to be the shield. Although I probably wanted to show off the uh, Doom Seekers here because, yeah, they got a lot of kills in there because they have axes chained to their arms just like Kratos with the Blades of Chaos. They are so cool! Here's another big notable change to the dwarves. They have an army replenishment option. Finally! We don't need a mod to add that option for them. Wasn't that always frustrating playing against playing as them? That they didn't have an option to replenish their armies? Gosh, that was so frustrating. That you can now you can finally do that. Oh, thank goodness. You still have the option to get treasury, oath gold, unit XP, income, control. But uh yeah, it's nice to finally have a replenishment option. Thank goodness. Ugh. And summon it during during a fight was an actual objective. Which for the next four turns gives us more Airship crew growth. Malakai Makaisa! Alright. The return to Karak Doom. Capture and occupy the following settlement. Karak Doom over here, which will give us the Hammer of Smednir. Huh. And plus 20% weapon strength. Okay. Did you see that, lads? We'll do that just so he can be able to have this upgrade get in there. It's always good when it's someone else exploding. <laughs> it's always good when it's someone else exploding. <laughs> Control. We aren't in connection with any of the dwarves at the moment. Oh, hey, Throt. Twist, bend, mangle, experiment! Shout out to Voice Snacks for being the voice of Throt. Upgrade the airship hull to a hardened hull. For Karak Kadren and a warm mug. The guild may not like it, but I do. Hmm. Aye, these ones are handy. Alright, let's get some dwarven warriors into this army. Build up our army here. Besides, I need to have some turns go by so I can show you guys. Wish I had my oh, hey, we've got the forge. Of course we do. But I especially want to show you guys the the Malachi adventure thing. That's the big thing the that I want to show you guys because that's part of the narrative campaign he gets. So we also get uh, stuff for Gotrek and Felix here. More replenishment, please. Hmm. Gather the throngs. Invention? Only thing that's kept dwarves alive. A 
we need to arm myself? The past is the past. All right. Just move on. Welcome to Malachi's Adventures. Malachi's Adventures are a series of dangerous missions that permanently modify his artillery and war machine units, culminating in unique legendary battles and other rewards. There are seven different adventures that are available to complete, each against different foes. Blocked adventures become available after legendary battles pri of prior adventures are completed. Each adventure has six different missions and one legendary battle, each with their own conditions and rewards. An adventurer's legendary battle only becomes available after a certain number of its missions are completed in any order, some of which grant bonuses to the unit that is being modified. A number of mountain holds have been devastated by... by oh, that's the description. Here you can see the details of the adventurer's narrative and what you will likely be doing during each mission. The foes to be faced in the adventurer's legendary battle are displayed here above a list of rewards gained for completing the battle. The unit that's being modified during the adventure is displayed here above a list of rewards that are gained from completing the adventurer's missions. Starting an adventure cost treasury and will add the artillery or war machine being modified to the higher mercenaries panel. So, for this first adventure, a number of mountain holds that have been devastated by a vicious dragon, leaving countless dwarves dead and homeless. The wretched monster may have the protection of the High Elves, but this cannot go unavenged. The cannons are fresh and cooled from the forge. It is time to hunt down the drake and blast it from its lair into oblivion. So we face the High Elves and we fight in the mountain climates and decide the fate of the dwarf refugees. So we will be facing we would be facing a fire flame dragon called R Ruag and uh, some dragon princes. What we end up getting is a dragon hide cloak, which adds fire resistance and glittering scales to an assigned slayer unit. And all inspiring sight for the spirit of Grungni, which increases leadership and reduces vigor per second for, uh, for affected allies in range, which I like that the effective range and duration are infinite. The upgraded unit for this adventure will be the Cannons, which has all armies faction-wide gain plus 10% reload time reduction for Cannons, 25% unit experience gain for Cannon units, Grape Shot ammunition switch for Cannon units, and Recruit Rank for Cannon units. That's awesome. We then get some other ones here, such as Dreadquake Destruction, Goblin's Monstrosity, Vampire Slayer, Anger of the Forest, Bloodletting, and the Skaven Scheme. And we unlock these as we progress. Kislev has proven itself to be a resilient scourge of chaos in all its forms. Yet recently, the Tsar's lands have been blighted by raids of infernal machines commanded by the Dawi's chaos-corrupted cousins, the Fire Dwarves. A newly assembled gyrocopter fleet awaits to join the Spirit of Grungni's command to help bring an end to the notorious sorcerer prophet responsible. We face the Chaos Dwarves, fight in the Wasteland Climates, and establish diplomacy with Kislev or Cathay. By the way, the starting bonus for this will be three of these uh, cannons. What we get are is the Glaive Gun, bonus versus large, extra range, and more armor-piercing uh, missile damage. And Gyrocopters will get a passive called Emergency Repairs, which replenishes their health. We will be granted Gyrocopters with Brimstone Guns and just Gyrocopters. Gyrocopters will get Vanguard Deployment, more unit experience gain, more missile strength, 360 missile block, and missile block chance. Nice. And But this one we'd be facing Dreadquake Mortars and a Kadai Destroyer. Yikes. So, start the adventure. You have begun an adventure. The buttons to the left and right of the Legendary Battle button represent this adventure's missions. Selecting a missions button displays its objective and rewards. The number of pips surrounding the legendary battle indicate how many of the adventurer's missions that you must complete in order to unlock the battle. 
the top bar displays the advection the displays the action the active adventure i can talk allowing you to easily track your progress and mission information via icons and tooltips when multiple adventures are active clicking the pin adventure button on a selected adventure will set it to display in the top bar so the first mission we would have is kill 800 enemies with cannon units and that's when we get uh, the grape shot ammunition for the cannons. Fight one battle with cavalry units in the enemy army. Fight two battles in a region with mountain climate. Complete the dilemma chain, dwarf refugees, to start the dilemma. Fight two battles against high elves and ensure that the following building has been constructed, the refectory. And that is up, oh, and we have, so those are what pop up here for those particular the missions, gotcha. A warm mug. So as we upgrade the, uh, the ship, we'll get more stuff unlocked, like the Dragon Slayer, Slayer Pirates, and more Slayers. And now we can hire adventure units, which lets us add more cannons to the army. Yay! It was me, Lodge. And now we can also get a grudge thrower and a bolt thrower. And now we have unlocked the forge. What's funny is that I've been using a mod that does a very similar thing here already, so this is not necessarily something that's uh, new or unique, because I've been already using a mod that kind of does this. It's already very similar to the system that Thoric already had, so the Forge is not really something new. They're just kind of like adding more to it, or doing more with it, I think. Perfect! With maybe a tweak or two, or a glorious death. Alright, so, we then get a dilemma here. Dwarf refugees, following the dragon's recent attacks in the mountains, several holds have been desolated, with countless others on the highest peaks abandoned out of fear of more dev devastation. Swaths of dwarf refugees have started arriving at your settlements, but far be it from you to cast your downtrodden brethren away. With some having descended from high altitudes, the refugees are tired, homeless, and angry. Yet whatever energy you can put into helping them is not unlimited. You must now focus on appeasing them in the best way possible, however you deem that to be. We can either offer shelter, putting roofs over their heads and hot food in their bellies can heal any dwarf spirit, at least for a time, or we can offer retribution. Now let's offer them shelter. So, that then leads us to give purpose to idle dwarf hand, dobby hands or send them to greener pastures. We can either employ them, expand the hold, construction cost for all buildings is reduced by 15% faction wide for 10 turns, horde building construction cost is reduced, or relocate them, which gives us plus 30 growth for 10 turns. Let's employ them. All right, so we completed that part of the I'll adventure. And that got us more treasury and more oath gold. I what? Watch it. I'll make you a dust snowman. More coilers. More unit experience and more unit rank. More less upkeep and less recruitment cost. More XP to level faster, that sounds nice. We'll just do all three, I guess. And we'll upgrade that as well. Number of things here when it comes to, ah, character runes. This is something I do like about the dwarves, the uh, the unit, the, uh, the character runes. I do like that. Oh!
flaming attacks. That's nice. Oi! Oh, it gave me three of them, apparently. I guess I can give one to each of them, I guess. Engineer! All three of you get Slayer. one. Oh, never mind. Felix doesn't get one because he's not a dwarf. <laughs> Poor Felix. Oh, wish I had my pokies on. He's just like, what? gosh, you guys get runes and I get nothing. And like, just to, just to clarify. Ah, it's cozy on a yep. This applies flaming attacks to both his melee attack and his ammunition. So now his ammunition also does flaming attacks. Oh, that's nice. I was curious whether or not that applied to just melee or not. Hey, numpty. I always believed in me. Innovate. I'm on it. I what? Give him more health. Bring ye himself. High elf expedition. White lions and lots of spearmen. Huh. And a decisive victory. Take that, you bastards! Always need more skilled hands. All right, that's another successful mission. And that gives us the uh, Drilled Cannoneers, which now has reduced reload time for all cannons. Wonderful. It's me! My Grundy, it's me! I love Malachi's voice actor. So let's see. Now there's more high elves over here. Oh, this building. Huh, okay. So I just need to do one more and then we can get access to the battle. Engineer! So these are frozen climates, not mountain climates. I'd have to go back here, this way, and fight some battles over here in this area. Ah, we also do have to, uh... Nope, nope, never mind. Now hold on, what's this? All right, so his campaign uh, uh, conditions are complete two legendary battles in the adventures. And then also complete the, the Skaven scheme. And it looks like that's when you would actually win his campaign in Realm of Chaos. Domination is these factions, which are the Chaos Dwarves, Kugath, Nakari, Kairos, and Daniel. 20 provinces and you win Domination. Huh. Interesting that's not showing up there. Oh, wait, that's right. It's a grudge. That's right. That's what it is. And you can pen it. I actually almost forgot about that. We gotta go destroy Molder. And then once we do that, We get the call the miner's ability, which is I saw that and I was just laughing. I'll figure it out. You reckon an airship could fit underground? <laughs> the past is the past. Oh, I'm gonna have some fun with uh Malachi. You stuff, you ideas.
So rather than using the underways, he uses airship traversal. Why would they let me call her unstoppable? Blood along. Explosives expert. We'll do that because it does apply to uh, Norska, which we are currently facing, so. By Grimney, it's me! Oh, That's just so funny to hear him say, By Grimney, it's me! Yeah, okay. But I wasn't the one that suggested it. Who even travels by foot these days? It's like, where are you going? You get back here. Oh, hey, Valkyrie. Oh, shit. I'll make you into a snowman. I? What? Oh, I. Let's go ahead and do this, just cause so we can uh, perhaps have a bit of fun with the cannons. I've got more of a front line to protect them this time, so... Plus, we, we don't just have cannons, we also have a grudge thrower and a bolt thrower, so this should be entertaining. Split up, it looks like. Makai son! By Grunji and Smegnia, I swear we'll destroy the foe! Through judicious use of advanced technology, naturally! See if I can do a bit of a bombing run with these guys. Those mining charges.
Oh, look at them! Did you see them with the chained axes? That's gonna cause some damage to those guys. Ready to fight! Gartrek! Chopping! Oh, he's gotta move a bit just to reach them. Okay, never mind. In that case, just go ahead and buff them. Yeah, Gotrek's got him. But you know what, Gotrek? Go ahead and get in here and help out with these guys. <laughs> they saw Gotrek coming and they were like, nope, we're done, we're out. Do not disgrace us. Get back here, you cowards! Our master deserted. That's what Gotrek is, is shouting. No. Sigma! Our master deserted. The gods watch! Do not disgrace us! Did take some damage, including the Doom Seekers, but man. They did get shredded. Yeah, the, the cannons. One did 51 kills, one did 50 kills. Doomseekers got 51 kills. Yeah, buffed up artillery can just absolutely shred armies as long as you, of course, protect them and make sure they don't uh, get reached. Uh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. McKayson. I think they said that there are more high elves over here. Hey, up, why don't you? Dooms, hey, Valkyrie, don't mind me. He's just gonna pass by Valkyrie and be like, "Oh, hi, don't mind me, just passing through." Slayer. More weapon strength for slayers, slayer pirates. I don't even have goblin hewers yet. More oath gold. Oh, did that... Oh, these are automatically granted as you level. That's interesting. Extremely daring death blow. That's cool. I didn't know that they did that, where now it's like once you level... Cause this is a this has been a thing with like mounts and such, but I don't recall this being a thing with abilities. So as you level, his death blow gets stronger. That's hilarious. That's awesome. I love that. Better too late. Better All right. So I wanted to perhaps show you guys uh, finishing this adventure before we cut this off, but I think you guys have a pretty good idea. Let me just double check where these high elves are. Now, I think it's worth noting you don't have to settle for just three. You could probably just keep doing the others. I could also just keep fighting battles until they get that in order to get that requirement, but... It looks like the other high elf battle is right here, so... I can also just go ahead and build this. since that is one of the uh, objectives there. There it is. A new reckoning. An age of reckoning has concluded. 
We can delay it for 10 turns, but you'll need to acquire 20% more settled grudges during your next one. Elgi, 0-24%. And we've unlocked the legendary battle, Dragon's Bane. So now the battle is accessible. We can teleport to it. For Karak Kadren in a warm mug. Oh, I. Hold it, you bastards! If you can hold much more replenishment, which is so nice. That is another mission done, which means we now get that other little completion buff. So now more recruit rank for them if we want to recruit more. We can go do more of these battles. I guess this is also a good test to see whether or not doing the battle will actually prevent us from completing the rest of these. So let's see. This will teleport us down there. Close victory, huh? Hmm. So, high elf army with spearmen, sword masters, bow archers, dragon princes, chariots, and three of these. A sun dragon. Oh gosh, three dragons. Who boy. Well, it's supposed to be a tough legendary battle, so let's see how I do on easy. <laughs> I don't usually show this much, but I really want to kind of show, like, because the idea of them adding these narrative campaigns to these characters I thought was such a cool idea, and I wanted to show off a bit more of these than I usually do. I have a feeling a lot of you wouldn't want to see me do an entire campaign of this, probably because you're probably watching my gameplay and just cringing, since you can probably tell I'm not nearly as... Uh, well, I'm a terrible player in comparison to others. Oh. Scared of our little time. Think of the opportunities. Oh, look. Elgi on the fancy ponies. Time for some target practice. Whoa, that's a big lizard. Ready the cannons, Dowie. Gold for you if you can take its eye out. Oh, please tell me he has great speeches like that for each of the legendary battles, because that's great. Oh, these El these Elgi on their fancy ponies. Oh, gosh, I am loving Malachi's voice actor more and more. Dwarf warriors. Malachi, son. Closer. Aye, very nice. Well, we'll see how these guys do. I'm a tad bit concerned about uh, them getting to my artillery. Back to back! See how this goes. The ship they're not even in range of my artillery yet. And I don't. Nope, they're not moving. They're gonna wait for me three. to make the first move. Oh. Whoa. This could be a bad decision because this could cost me my gyrocopters. They are fast, and I. I'm tempted to do a bombing run, but this could also cause them to get shot down. Boom! Yep, the archers are shooting at me. Oh boy. Alright. Run! Run! Just draw them into the artillery fire. Ugh. 
Ugh, this could be bad. Let's have Godric and Felix get over here to help them out. Because I can tell what's about to happen. They're about to charge. These dragon princes are about to charge my guys here. My miners are just going to get absolutely annihilated if that happens. Let's also get the gyrocopters over here to help provide some more support against these guys. have the uh let's see if my doom slayers can get in here and take on these uh dragon princes to attack. yes they can oh yeah those are straight up the blades of chaos that they've got in their hands oh boy Time to get the spirit of Grundy in here. Vengeance. Probably should have saved that for the dragon, but get up! let's just go ahead and try to help out uh, against this leader of theirs. Charge! Ready to fight. Feel my act. By all means! Right, Shadowless! Hit them! Blow out! Killers! Sword drawn! My axe bursts! Oh, this is bad. Leave Malachi alone. Oh, and now here come the dragons. part we've handled the this uh elven army now we just have to deal with these dragons because the elven army is basically retreating but We'll see whether or not this was too early of a decision to go ahead. Oh, gosh! And the Spirit of Grungany takes off. Oh, that's bad. Just kind of gang up on one, take them down one at a time, I think. Oh, gosh, no, that thing's going for 
Malachi, no! Felix is retreating. I'll die willingly. Run, Malachi. All steam of heat. Let's go. Shock and all lads, remember. Forward. Strike. Fly as fast as I know you want to seek your demise, but this may be too soon. Good sport. Fetch to stone. All right, we're making one dragon retreat for the moment. Let's also get these high elves out of here. Get out of here. Go ahead and run. They have wronged us. All right. Let's speed this up a bit. No, Malachi! Alright, that's one dragon down. Let's get rid of this other dragon. Alright, one left. Also, what is with this high elf spearman unit in here? Get 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 out of there. No! Go trick! Kill the dragon! Malachi McKaysen! Hope I don't regret this! Don't skirmish, just kill it. Yeah, we got it. Oh my gosh. Well, I think we won the battle, but... Oh man, that cost me a huge army. Just look at how little of an army I have left. Gotrick and Felix both died. Malachi almost died. Oh man. Oof. Sorry, I'm not going to be continuing this. I'm just doing this for recording and testing purposes. <laughs> but uh, when I say I'm bad at this game, you probably just saw an example as to why. Oh, oh yeah, give me that replenishment. Felix has been wounded. Gotrick has been wounded. We did get a regiment of renown. Adventure complete. So, so now that we have completed that quest chain, more of these have gotten unlocked. This is where we can get the Goblin Hewer, or upgrade the Goblin Hewer. The Gyro Bombers, the Flame Cannons, and the organ guns. Oof. But it looks like you can, in fact... So this is what I was curious about. Even though we've already done the battle, we can still go after doing these missions here to get these upgrades. So these missions don't go away if you, in fact, do the legendary battle. That's what I was curious about. So that's good to know. So if you still want to pursue these and get these upgrades, you can do that even if you do the battle. That's good to know. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we were successful. Malachi but uh, at what cost? <laughs> it's a good thing you can move when you're in the, in, in the uh, camp stance. Because, jeez louise. Explosives I lost Gotrick and Felix. 
Leadership during subterranean. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Ancestral grudge. Yep. He gets cluster bombs. Piercing shots. Explosive missile damage. And more range. Very nice. More speed. Deadly onslaught. Mm hmm. This will get unlocked at level 12. Okay. Missile resistance for our slayers. Very nice. A gift from Very nice indeed. Trap shut, if you will. Oh, of course Valkia declares war on me. And she immediately attacks me. So there goes my army. Valkia just couldn't resist. I was there just horribly wounded. We then get a new quest. Maintain a total of eight in order to be able to unlock a new hero called Garagrim Iron Fist. Which I believe is the son. Yep, the son of the great Slayer King Ungrim Iron Fist. So he will get to join us as a, as a hero. So you don't just get... Uh, Gortrick and Felix, you also get uh, Ungrim's son. So now I don't have any army, so. <laughs> also, yeah, Demon Slayer is now an actual Lord recruitment option. That's wonderful. Uh, so, that's Malachi McKyson. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is why I tend to use mods, because I'm not great <laughs> at this game. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Uh, but I do love this adventure thing. I really do love this. I'm so happy they did this. I And I really, really hope... Why is it still showing that there? Oh, because I haven't started a new adventure. That's why. So we start the new adventure and we get some new stuff here. That's why. Okay. And if you have the money, you can start multiple adventures, it looks like, but... Yeah. Kill enemies with the gyrocopters. Fight an envoy army. Over here. Deep battles in the wasteland climate. So sometimes it's a good, probably a good idea for you to start multiple of these adventures just so you can get some of these missions started because I was fighting over here in the. Uh, well, this actually froze and not wasteland, but yeah. So. That's Malachi, and uh, when we return, I'm probably going to go ahead and show you guys uh, uh, Epidemius, and uh, I'll see whether or not I want to also go ahead and show you guys some of the changes also to Kugath, Plague Father. Uh, I also want to show you guys the changes to Carl and, uh, oh gosh, uh, the Golden Wizard guy. <laughs> I'm blanking on his name, but the one, Balthazar. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot his name, Balthazar. Uh, I didn't get much sleep last night. I was, uh, you know, let's just say a little excited and anticipating this and, you know, <laughs> yeah, anyways. So, uh, yeah, um, stay tuned.